basically a vigilante story. Okay. And it's um, kind of told from other people's perspectives. So like we're not getting it from our character in the hood's perspective at all. Um, and this scene, what is it it's for? like a very... Uh, <laughs> what is it there for? <laughs> WSHN. I'm Lindsay Porter, and we're here with Greg Summer, City Councilman, discussing the recent events of. It's okay. I know. All right. To WTHR. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the acts of terrorism committed on the city um, by the notorious bloodshot. Why hasn't the HUD done anything about that? Would you still consider him to be a hero? To be honest, Lindsay, I don't. I don't know. But why don't we ask the many people whom he saved or their families? They might imply that he is. I'm inclined to think his acts are heroic, but again, I'm just one person. To do it again. No, okay. I'm just I um, do much better. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll go from the very beginning. And I'm gonna even have you do your intro thing, because when you say, "And hey, we're here with Greg Summers," I might show him and just be like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> <laughs> all right, and action. Welcome back. I'm Lindsay Porter, and if you're just now tuning in, we're here with Greg Summers, City Councilman. To be honest, Lindsay, I don't know, but. Why don't you ask the, the numerous people whom he saved, or their families? They might imply that he is. I'm inclined to think that his acts are heroic, but I'm just one person. All right, that was good. Very good. Um, this, imagine this is a bulky camcorder from back in the day, and so you'll be switching it on or pretending to. Okay. So when you start out, you'll just be like here-ish, kind of leaned over, so we just see his kind of... Body kind of adjusted. Right, and then just kind of yeah, pretend you're pushing something over here. And then sit down and, you know, it's like, you know you're filming yourself, you're, you can, you know. This scene is uh, pretty much introducing the character named Lyle Karank. And it's just uh, getting a little backstory um, to who he is and what he's going to become. Action. Just so that I can understand what's truly good and what's truly bad. She can't be kind of in the crowd. Alright, do you want to position it yourself? Yeah. Well, oh, what is it? This is the um, one of the first scenes. It's a press conference with Detective Nora North and her partner. Benjamin Brooks. And she is announcing the death of one of so their Bobby, um, police yes, officers in their department. Green. And it is the inciting you incident do, because they don't know who did it yet. Decide, and they're going to go find out here. afterwards. Awesome for support, really. Uh, I'm just here to post up and really help her out. Right now, like, awesome. Maybe. <laughs> ADR will actually be fun. And if somebody wants to zoom, it's just like a recording. Okay. Up, there's lots of commotion, so you can say whatever. Yeah, Nora North, that's her name. Nora North. So, um, so Detective North, or whatever. On an alleyway in between Broad and Holland. So, I think for them, you constantly are doing like a thing on them. Make it like look for the costume. Right. And, uh, she's like, Playing Ivana, the hood's ex-girlfriend. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys have some history, I bet, then. Yes, there's there's a fair amount of history there. You could say I am his motivation for everything that he does. Ooh, spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, it's, it's a turning point for both of them, basically. That's a good way to extract. Yep, cool. It's just vague enough. 
Yeah. Turning point, yeah. He's going to Disneyland and I'm going to Disney World. It was a really big decision. But um, both polar opposites, as you can see. So uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very, very emotional, emotional decision for both of us. Okay. One last thing before I'm ready. Jared, if you would fix that one blind that's kind of a little wonky. Yeah. We like that. Jared, the Boondock Saints poster? Yeah. And what other posters did you have? No, Taylor Swift posters. Right there. <laughs> I remember seeing it right there. And then, then we wake were, up. And then we Good job. Why can't we just run away? We could get away from my father. It's simple. Just you and me. It's either me or the hood. Okay, let's try again. This set is the Hood's home. That's right, you get to see inside the Hood's house. There's all sorts of stuff going on in here. No one talked to Kelsey. That's good right there. That's good. in character. That's good. That's good. So no one talked to her. Don't good. even look at her. Don't even think about her. Okay? That's good. Let's see passion. Let's uh, see oh, that. I'm passionate. Let's see about it. filming. I want to hear it. Uh, I don't want to end up like Shane Hover. I forget. Did we look up what they live in? I intend to find out. What did you say? I want to find out what Billy means. It means cheap. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah I told you that. We did talk about this. Right now, I am touching up some of Nora's wounds that she gets from an unidentified accident. I'm making it look real, hopefully, right now. It's looking good so far. Sweet. You should have said you were striking. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have forgotten. <laughs> this is actually my house, so it's kind of invading my personal space, so. So. This is the Hood's conspiracy wall. Uh, it's where he's linking the acts of all of his major either criminals or counterparts throughout the film with all the other acts that he has witnessed or that have coincided. Now, obviously we don't have these people seeing as they're not, they're fictional characters. So all of these newspaper clippings are real things, but uh, they are in fact in no way have anything to do with any real thing. The only like crime that's listed is this one here, so I took uh, advantage of that. <laughs> Can't tell what I'm doing. Oh yeah. And then there's Dally. It's a shoulder rig. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope people can see. Some oh, like you staring at him. Yeah. Jim keeps uh, looks looking like at me. <laughs> yeah. I would think that's weird, but that's not nearly as close as how weird Michael stares at me. <laughs> nice window, the moonlight. Oh, here's the hood. Got a couch, a chair. Lovely lamp. Conspiracy wall board thing. Hospital. <laughs> Resting Harry. Attempting to make a horrifying cut that will look like a gash that the hood is sewing up. This is the first step, it's creating texture. Then I will cut this out and glue it to his arm. <laughs> I have these headshots for Aaron Michelle, and she's like leaving tomorrow, so she's like, wait, can I get it for you? I was going to give them to her today. She's like, I'll just come over tomorrow. I'm like, oh, when? 
8 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> It's so, like I just leave him on the outside the door. Here you go. <laughs> What's that? I'm walking back with you. Uh, yes. Uh, separate two. Okay. Okay. Let's see. After much collaboration, this is the aftermath here. Where are we doing the gash? The gash. Um, in his arm. Do it on this side. Okay. I'm gonna do it on the cheekbone if that's okay. Yeah. So what just happened, Drew? We just had a very intense shoot. We had to move very fast. This is Jim Banta. Hey, everybody here. Puppeteer. We yeah. had lots of dialogue, and we uh, had a fight scene as well. Um, so we just had to rush through everything to get done on time. We had about five hours to do it. And it's, the thing is, is it covers about 10 to 15 pages. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. But this is our wonderful set that's being deconstructed at the moment. But Puppeteer's lab area. There was a TV over here. Experimenting. TV is science. now the down TV's there. Right yeah, a table of, you know, science, evil scientists kind Nightmare. of thing. There's, There's lots of syringes and vials and stuff like that. Here's one of them, actually. It's a pretty gross-looking basement, but that's pretty much exactly what you want for a scene like this. So. Rolling. Rolling. Go and fog, fog it. Please, yeah. And here we go. Action. Yeah! Yeah! Yes. Okay. And action. Now! Now! What am I doing? Block, block. Hang on, but okay, when you do it over, make it like a vertical swing, okay? Alright, ready? Yep. Go back and. Ah, sorry. Roll camera. Okay, come steps back. Come steps back, Jerry. And action. Yeah, you need to be closer. Really extend your arm. And action. Yeah. Okay. You right? Yeah, I'm fine. And. Action. Oh, I did the wrong way, I'm sorry. Good. Alright, and action. <laughs> Cut. Don't you dare. Bobby's a little cranky. <laughs> You'd be cranky too <laughs> if you had like seven duplicate newspapers and we only use one of them. Bobby's never cranky. I've, I've got nothing. He's just a happy guy. I am happy. <laughs> Action! Alright, and... Action! I do, it's just that first line that I always... Clear out Volcano, this is not... This is the second line. Here, I have them. Um... <laughs> Detectives, I believe you have something of mine. It's not going to you, Volcano. Clear out now before we take you in. This isn't your district. Oh, but he's important to us. Suppose I propose a trade. 
And now I'm recording sound with this thing right here. And now later I might be a cop. But, um, no hood today. No hood today. Um, actually, I gave it to someone else. They were in my hood today. Very good. Kind of makes me jealous. Kind of want to. I'm in a fit of jealous rage right now. Um, but so, yeah, I just have to hold this. Tell them how you really feel. And I squeeze it real tight to make sure that I don't just like, beat someone with it. You know? Because, you know, the hood is just the murderous tendencies always want to kill someone. And uh, this boom pool is more than enough to, uh, for the hood to beat someone to death, you know? Juggle it <laughs> throughout some cues at the end so that basically we could do that. <laughs> we should do that. Like, like, you get, like, there's there's probably like a long bit over there. No, there is. We but, should uh, do that. What's up? So, we're setting up for this uh, shot of the cops. We have uh, SHPD um, uniforms over there. Go ahead and get that. And uh, so, basically, we're going to take them, have them run through the shot, and without setting up the shot, without moving the camera, we'll have them go through it in a different order, different arrangement again, and in post. We will combine the two shots, so there will be six cops instead of three. Maybe even nine. Who knows? And pass one. Action! And out of there! Whatever you do, guys, do not bump the camera at all. Be careful. Pass two. Action! All right. Three, Shot we've ever gotten. 